Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. When you start rapping like that. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm gonna tell you a little something about myself real quick. So you know where I'm at. Yes, yeah, Mr. Beefy. I'm in the pussy cheese. I'll make a pussy queen. Fuck, she fall asleep. Yeah, this is all of me. I'm talking about all of me. That's what she know about it. It's big dog for me. So I think it's time we get into it. Into it, into it. Salute to every single one of y'all that watch this content. Whether religiously or in passing, salute to my guy, Showtime SP, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. This is the Sue Surf that y'all wanted. This is what y'all wanted. I made the blog yesterday and I was talking about it, it was a must win battle for Sue Surf. I seen people saying it was a group group narrative, but I thought it was true. Um, Sue Surf set the bar very high for himself. He was battling against Calico, who Calico had already beat him pretty clearly. And he was coming into a battle that was a must win. You know what I'm saying? Like you can say, I can say it how you want to say it, but I'm uh, I want to read to you this post that uh went on today. Uh Calico comes out and he says, Landslide 2-1. I'm mad though. I honestly wanted to 30 dog. I'm man enough to say I was threw off in that third, and his third was cleaner. I'll take a 2-1 on a nigga I 30 already now. <sighs> Sue Surf responds and said, the thread, this thread is joke shoebox. And then there was mad comments in the thread on Twitter saying that Calico lost. You lost, you lost, you got 30, you got smoke. Y'all wanna know what happened? I'm telling you, you got smoke. This is not an official recap per se right now. We did a live recap last night and uh, we'll do bar for bar with Showtime SP within the next day. But I will say this, this is the Sue Surf that we asked for. This is the one that we wanted. Everybody wanted to see him bring three rounds. Oh, the two round Sue, two round Sue. I think that notion is dead now. Uh, he has showed you that he can deliver and the material that he was delivering to me had a lot of fire moments. That BMF black face line, why you wasn't, if he broke bones, why he wasn't in the cast, I thought that was fire. Classics over the net, Federa. 16 scratching the arm eczema i ain't got no notes i ain't got no notes and i only saw it one time but the one time was enough for me um he had more the the suitcase anybody on suitcase desperado like nigga nigga cow <laughs> it ain't the same with that backups in front of you um cal had a good i like cal's first round second round was cool too the third he had the little slippy blippies in there and shit but uh, I didn't have Surf down 2-0 going into the third. That's the thing. I did not have him down 2-0 going into the third. And if someone clearly wins the third, you heard me. But what I will say is uh, JC. Uh, yeah, uh, JC or Goods. Because uh, Surf is saying that he wants to battle again this year. If he battles again this year, JC or Goods. Uh and honestly, after the last two performances, I mean, my motto, you only good as the last nigga you killed. And uh, it could be argued, could be argued that Sue Surf is 6-0 and in his last six rounds. It could be. Now, you know, there's going to be folks that feel like, oh, John John got this round, or they're going to feel like Cal got... I'm cool with that. But overall, I don't think the winner changes like the actual winner of the battle especially when the when the voting percentages be so high niggas be trying to argue and it'd be like 81 19 or like 71 29 or some shit like how we I, I mean everybody's gonna have their own opinion but surf this is the surf that we wanted when i spoke to surf when he was talking about uh you know the john john battle and coming into this it was more so the notion is you're gonna take this shit serious and i know like a lot of people will think that battle rappers do this shit strictly for the money and things like that. But your legacy, your legacy is very important. If you've been watching Surf's moves around the industry, 
after the John John battle, he had been in spaces, groups, talking his shit. He had gotten into arguments with new rappers. He was uh, promoting himself. He's talking his shit. He's going around embodying and embellishing the culture, giving advice and things like that. Because acceptance is everything. Like to be accepted and to be honored at a high level, it means a lot. You know what I'm saying? And when he wasn't doing good, niggas was smoking him. You know what I'm saying? Like, And he may act like, oh, I don't care. I don't watch that shit. Trust me, bro. These niggas be watching blogs. They be when you see your name in a title on YouTube, they be watching this shit. And they know the energy out here. They know how people feel. They know what people see. And I said it was a must-win battle for the way that Cal got him emotional in the face-off. He was he got him, he, he rattled his cage a little bit. And it was very imperative for Sue Surf to show up and deliver. Not only deliver, but deliver three three rounds flawless clean and show that this is something that you're going to do i'm off the two round suit narrative i'm off the if factor the what if if he brings this i'm off of that you know what i'm saying he's bringing it three rounds in a row he's bringing fire he's doing his thing twerk's doing the same thing bringing three rounds so for them i'm chilling on that what if the if if we're not even going to factor that in right now because they've been doing it he's done it two battles in a row you know what i'm saying so it's kind of like time to move on and see what's going to happen i know surf also said that he wants to battle chess he also wants to battle easy to block captain like friendly fire gun title shit but them moments though that he was having yesterday that shotgun hit cow girl from the reverse hit her from the back reverse cow girl he's battle rapping the niggas battle rapping battle rapping now and you can't take nothing from him when you got one of the top names in this shit like surf is like 1a 1b with some of the top niggas in this shit but the thing was his production was not meeting up to his personality. He had a big personality, but the production was down here. But when the production is up here and the personality is up here, you can say what you want. You can move how you want. You can do the shit that you want to do. You can brag about getting them 50s and them 100s or whatever the case may be because the personality and the production are matching up. That's a fact. But when one don't meet with the other, they don't, you know what I'm saying? That That's a dirty situation. It's nasty work. We got to clean it up. Um, he definitely did his thing versus Calico. I'm not taking nothing away from Calico at all. I just want y'all to know that. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why I even made this blog because I want niggas to know that I feel like Cal, and I feel like Cal did his thing. Cal didn't take his feet off the gas. You know what I'm saying? He he definitely has some moments in his shit. Um, but when it comes to that big stage, that star power, that taking it to the next level, that that just the et cetera, the federa, that like he's 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 hit a he said wave it at the crowd, hit a heckler with a heckler, like that type of shit. Everybody's a stepper to the one that they step. Everybody's a stepper until they one that they get till they get stepped to by a stepper. Wave it at the crowd, hit a heckler with a heckler. Man, listen, this shit's crazy. Um, salute to everybody that watched the two-hour recap that we did last night. It was dope. Daylight had called up and gave his opinion on a lot of things about battling and shit like that. Uh, the event ended very late. It was a good event overall, you know what I'm saying? I, I was fucking with it. was only like one battle that really wasn't that good on there. Um, but I won money off of it, so I'm not really mad because niggas wanted to bet with Rex. If any, any of you niggas want to bet with Rex, let me know. Whenever he got a battle coming up. You hit my line, you hit me on Twitter, you hit me on Instagram, I will bet whatever. I will bet my house, my cat, my dog, my truck. I will bet whatever you niggas want to bet on Rex. Anything. And I will bet with whoever he's battling against. Because that was the easiest money I ever made in my life. Keep it up. But, uh, yeah, so Sue Surf, you know, he's back in that bag. He's talking his shit. Uh, and this is a this is a problem that people are going to have goods. Good's the animal. You're going to have to come outside. You're going to have to have that conversation with Surf. Uh, JC. Yeah, uh, JC, I know I know the shit that you was talking. I know how you feel. I know how you give it up. But uh, you're going to have to have that conversation with Surf. And on the stage, I don't really know. them. That performance, them three rounds, them spooky monster moments. And he's remembering this shit coming with three rounds. And when the crowd is stopping him, he's doing the shut up. But he's still going. And... You're going to have to deal with that. JC, I say JC first, and then I say, uh, let's bring goods around and, and see what that is. Uh, Cassidy versus Freeway, no, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not giving what it's supposed to give. 
I mean, niggas will watch it because it's free, you know what I'm saying, on caffeine and shit like that, but I could have seen Cassidy versus Conceited or some shit like that. No knock on Freeway, but he's not really a battle rapper. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, he wasn't a battle rapper when he battled Cass back in the days, and he's, I mean, we could see, but I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. We'll talk about that shit more in depth another time, but it ain't my money, so it ain't funny. Um, But yeah, salute to Sue Surf. Uh... Niggas seen what you did yesterday, you put on, uh, you was on your battle rapper shit, uh, but, 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 another third, and this is 30 days, 30 days, pretty goddamn clean for 30 days, I must say, you know, Geechee put on in 30 days after his last joint too, uh, so did Cal, Cal had the same amount of time, um, y'all niggas is getting money though, you know what I'm saying, you getting that bread, Niggas ain't going no nine to five. So, I mean, all you got to do is write. I mean, I think it's a beautiful job and a beautiful life. You know what I'm saying? Battle Rap is at its apex. It's continuing to move up. All the, all the blogs is doing numbers. Niggas, is, people's do, rappers is doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? So shit is good. Let's see what it, where it goes from here, though. Um, salute to Surf. Salute to Cal. It is what it is. Gang.